It is going down. This is the new music show online, a.k.a. the Weekend Mixtape. I'm DJ Ski. Ski, you have so much energy. I have to. got to feel good. It was just Jingle Ball, so. You're right. Carly Enriquez. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. That's crazy. It's going to be it's gonna be a good show. Big week. Lots of stuff going on. Let's talk about Jingle Ball real quick. Okay. We had two nights. Yes, and it was I... two nights. So it hasn't been, it's never been two nights. It's usually one night. So we had two nights. Yeah, and madness. I felt like I slept at Nokia Theater <laughs> because it was a. Com- it felt like 48 hours full of music yeah. of, you know, today's best artist Taylor Swift killed it Justin yeah. Bieber killed it probably one of my favorite perform- performances has to be Psy Psy yeah the crowd went crazy I, I I didn't see one person in the audience not doing that dance and I think and he, it took over the Macarena absolutely he just has so much swag too he just walks up and doesn't say anything and just goes yeah, and it's like, the, that's all he did. He's that's the, best the entire performer. time. Yeah. The entire time, and it was actually announced that Afrojack will be um, to Billboard.com will be remixing Gangnam oh, wow. Style. Wow, right now still? Yeah, it's kind of late. I thought it'd be. I mean, it's being hey. done. It's gonna be released really soon. It's crazy too to see Justin Bieber. Like there were girls waiting for him since like 10 a.m. outside and before, and knowing that he's not getting there until later in the night and. It's just nuts. Like, I was literally going deaf. I wore my headphones because I was DJing on the side of the stage. I wore my di- headphones his whole performance just to block out the noise. And it was still loud. That's why you were yelling backstage. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, oh. he's going deaf. Exactly. I almost went deaf that night. So, so listen, I, a Big Sean, he actually just confirmed that he finished um, his second yeah. album. But they're pushing it until 2013. Yeah, that's good. Um, he has a new single called Guap that's already hitting the airwaves. Shout out to Big Love Sean. that song. He's always he's repping dope. Detroit yeah. and L.A., you know, because he's from both. Absolutely. Shout out to Big Sean. we got to get him up here again. Any other music that you want to talk about? Um, I my know pick, you always like how good stuff to talk about. My pick for the week is, uh, I'm going to take it a little hip-hop. So this is like the biggest hip-hop street record and club record right now. It's from this guy named Trinidad James. Oh my God, I knew you were going to say that. I'm obsessed with this man. He, it's it's like a weird song too because you hear it. It starts off with a hook, then it's a verse, then it's a hook, then it's done. Like I is, feel like, a lot of these rappers, are, mm-hmm. they're not taking themselves so serious yeah. now. With their lyrics, like for example, 2 Chains came out. Yeah. He now has a pop fan base because oh the, yeah, the music's crazy. really, you know, friendly. Not oh, yeah. friendly, but it's just yeah. fun. There's humor. Absolutely. And it's Trinidad, fun. Even though he's so hood with his videos, <laughs> yes. I still feel like, you know, it's relatable. It's good music. It's funny. All gold, everything. So that's my, my pick of the week that you'll, you'll definitely be hearing if you haven't already at a club or radio near you. And so. congratulations to Alicia Keys. She sold 159,000 yes. digital units with her album. She came in at number one, right? Yeah, which is pretty cool. All right, I think we're ready for our guest. Yeah, you ready for him? What's good, Imprint? What's good, what's good? How are you, man? Good. How y'all doing? <laughs> good stuff. So first up, um, where are you from, for, the, for those who don't know? I'm from Seal Beach, California. And how long have you been uh, doing your music thing? I've been doing music uh, on and off for about you know, five years, uh, but just consistently for the past, like, three, three and a half years. Okay. Why the name? What's behind the name? Um, you know, I've just been known to leave, like, a lasting impression on people. I used to be, like, a bad kid and get in trouble. So for whatever reason, whatever it was, like, when you ran into me, you were going to remember me, you know, so. Because you would do something bad to them? Back or? in the day, bad. <laughs> back in the day, bad, but now, you know, positive and... <laughs> Yeah. You're not going to beat us up on nah, stage? Nah. Or Harley looks like a little that. scared over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Don't be so, scared. So, so how would you describe your sound and style for those who haven't heard you yet? Like, what are, what are some of your influences? Um, my influences, uh, well, you know, I grew up on, you know, Tribe Called Quest, Gangstar, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, all, all that 90s hip hop. And what about new artists? Who's, who, who, who are you listening to right now? My favorite artist currently is J. Cole. Man, is super dope. You know what I mean? He and comes, you, got to, you got to open for him or something. Yeah, right? yeah. South by Southwest. I got to open up for J. Cole. So that, that was an honor as well. And uh, Macklemore. That dude is yeah. so dope. Shout out to Macklemore. Yeah, yeah. Love that song. Now, who do you want to work with in the studio? Uh, the definitely those two dudes that I just named, and then yeah, you know all the all the West Coast cats are really killing it right now. Kendrick Lamar, that'd be amazing to work with him mm-hmm. and the whole TDE family. Yeah, there's the whole great West Coast kind of you know resurgence almost coming out. You have groups like you said TDE, and then uh, a whole other a whole other level. Where do you think? Uh, why do you think right now is uh, the West Coast has come back all of a sudden? Uh, it's just time, and um, the right people are just doing it. What were you doing before music? I mean, you were a fan of music your whole life, but five years ago, before that, what were you doing? Uh, like I said, I was running around getting in trouble, and I had no direction in my life. Uh, in and out of jail and rehab. For y'all that don't know, um, I struggled with drug addiction my whole teenage and like 
the beginning of my adult life, and you know now I currently almost have five years clean and sober. Congratulations, so. man! Congratulations. Good for you. That's great. Round yeah, of applause. Yeah, a round of applause. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. What's kept you going? You know, staying clean, staying out of trouble. Um, I, I just came to a crossroad in my life. Uh, I was about to uh, get sentenced to like six and a half years in prison. I wasn't really trying to do that. And um, I really felt like I had a talent with music. And once I, the, the stuff I started writing, like just to see the impact it had on people and people would say they, they were really inspired by me. So to see me make a positive influence or positive impact on someone, it was, that was higher, better than any high I ever had, like on drugs or anything. So That's a great way to put it. Well, yeah. Should we get to it? Yeah, absolutely. You guys ready to see some performances, some songs being performed? Imprint's about to make his imprint on yeah. stage right now. This is the music show online. Uh, I'm gonna get it, gonna get it, you let's go. Take a long ass look at a brother about to get it. Destined to shine like the mind of a genius. Out of this world like my mind up on being so sick. Now this means you use this beat as my clean neck. Huh? Man, I was thinking it. No one was listening. Then I started shouting, guess I got their attention. I'm beating down the door, demanding what I've earned now. All the rest the label screaming uh, let me go in and I'll give you my heart Let's take a walk, talk, I'll teach you where to shine when it's start Then I'll make a play from a spot Then I'll put your aim on the mark Then I'll take that I'm gonna turn your pain into art, boy Ain't preaching this motivation, I'm speaking rhymes up Catch your dreams at the knee, but you can beat them All my brothers in the precinct Sisters that are knee deep and they sink it See them songs together, we can reach them uh, Get your hands up, now get your hands up Up, 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 uh and it feels so good on top with the spectacular view. Uh, a spectacular view. Put a smile on, homie. You can rock one too. Uh, and it feels so right. Living out my dreams. Got a smile on the night. Uh, yeah, I got a smile on the night. Boy, laying with my team and our smile looks nice. I woke up feeling extra blessed. The sky is the limit. Getting high off the living and divine intervention. I decided to listen instead of suicide. Homicide and addiction Kill that shit But it ain't sinning When God give you permission You start a new beginning Your heart becomes replenished Now you're living how you should People say you what's by And it feels so It's a beautiful day As I stroll through the neighborhood And everybody knows Because they should And if they hate it Try to hate it Don't matter Cause Uh when they hit the street, best believe it's what my head up But gets man respect, nobody do it better You know the name, it's the I-M-P or I-N-T I stay prepping M-D-B Fam scoop me up, taught me how to focus my cheek Been training in the dojo so we can go head up Victory's guaranteed, kinda like a setup Ease your mind when a rhyme is like a sedative The music's therapeutic, kinda like sex is Bigger in Texas, I'm so damn reckless Trained by Hurricane, not a force to be reckoned with It's unfair, the way I set the bar high these candy ass rappers get smacked like a rawhide Jekyll and out the way you're flipping the style No for dudes jacking the lyrics When white girls be jacking the smile How you know? Thank you guys so much for wow. coming on. I appreciate you Nice Thanks for coming up here. I appreciate you taking the time, man. Thank you. What, thank are, your you. what are your plans for next year, man? What's, what's going on? Um, I got an album coming out in a few months. Can't okay. give you the name yet, but look for that MCM print. Uh, I got a current album that's out. It's called mm -hmm. The First Impression, produced by The Optimist. So, you know, just check nice. me out. Stay fun. Any plans this weekend, Carla? What's going on? Holiday parties, you said? Christmas shopping, holiday parties. <laughs> are you guys ready for all of that yet? Crazy yeah, how time flies, right? Yeah, well, Did you get all your Christmas shopping done yet, Imprint? Uh, I haven't started yet, but I, I still either. love them now. I haven't even thought about <laughs> it. I go Amazon.com and click and you're ship right, it to everybody. You're right. That's I should right, do that. Right. Should anyway. do that. Oh. Absolutely. And go to my store, of course, Tradition in the Beverly Center. So. <laughs> Side oh, there we go. Thank you. Appreciate you guys rocking with us. Again, this will go up online on Friday. You tune in every Wednesday right here at 3.30 for the new music show online, a.k.a. The Weekend Mixtape. MC Imprint, make some noise for him one yeah. more time. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Yes. I'll see you Sunday night at the new music show. We're out of here.